Hey all here at OS Reviews, a few months back we did a hands-on review of the Year Studio HE100, which are high-res certified in-ear headphones that sounds really good. Uh, they're from a South Korean company, and these perform really well, especially with treble and giving us very crisp detail. Today we're taking a look at one of their newest products, which is no longer headphones, but in this case it's a DAC. It's called the HUD 100, it's a hi-fi USB mini DAC to be plugged onto a regular computer. Computer, um, whether that's Windows or Mac, it can also be used to plug into a phone. Uh, so a DAC is a digital to analog converter, and it's a way to experience cleaner, more nuanced sound. Because you know, as good as the headphones are, if the audio coming out from your player or your computer isn't that good, then you're still not going to get the best listening experience. Now aside from improving the sound, this particular DAC can also drive high impedance headphones. So think of larger over-the-ear style or studio headphones with really big drivers that typically require more power uh, in order to have their full impact uh, turned on. Uh, so if you just plug that directly into a small player or into your phone, oftentimes it won't work or get the same effect. This will actually amplify the sound and still drive those large headphones. And then there's a standard 3.5 millimeter jack for smaller headphones and also earbuds like the uh, previous uh, HE 100s that we reviewed from them. Now there's three different sound modes or kind of EQs that you can choose between on the stack. Uh, there is a bypass mode which doesn't have any processing aside from the digital to analog conversion. Uh, it retains the same neutral sound that is being played back. There's also a DCT mode which uses the company's proprietary uh, dithering kind of algorithm to slightly give you a more dimensional sound and uh, this is a mode that uh, is actually left on the middle setting and then the third one is the dynamic mode which is also tuned by them that it punches up a little bit in terms of bass with that being said, unlike some of their Bluetooth DACs which are on the market, this particular DAC does not come with a companion um, app that allows you to further customize and tweak the EQ to your own liking. And the claim here is it can translate uh, or transform even YouTube videos that you're watching into high-res audio tracks, which is really impressive. So anything that you're listening to after plugging it into your computer and then passing through with your headphones suddenly will become much more impressive. Now here's the packaging. Inside we have just the super tiny HUD 100 itself. We've also got a foul leather mini case, which is uh, pretty cute. Then we get two USB Type-C cables of two varying lengths. There's one meter and 10 centimeters, a shorter one and a slightly longer one, perhaps to use if you are uh, popping it onto a smartphone. Now, by the way, if you want to pop this onto a phone, iOS and Android are both supported, but it does require you to have an adapter uh, because you would have to go from Type-C to Type-C or Type-C to Lightning. Last but not least, there is a quick user manual, but it is very um, you know, scarce in terms of the documentation, just labeling what the ports are. Uh, you can take a look at more details on their website. Uh, what's interesting here is they are using the DAC chip um, is from AK, it's called the AK4377. And then other notable engineering feats from them is it's, again, tiny, 43% volume size compared to their previous products, uh, YouTube to high resolution support, and it claims to be the first portable DAC that uses a ARM Cortex processor. And then they have what's called a jitter resilient oscillator that will uh, clear, provide more clear sound that's coming out and get rid of, again, noise, uh, which is definitely good. And again, the three different modes that you have for powering large headphones that require 250 ohms and more. Finally, there is an LED on the front of the unit that does change different colors depending on the sample rate of the track that you're listening to. So a closer look here at the HUD 100, indeed it is very small. Um, it's constructed very well as the price would suggest out of a kind of unibody aluminum chunk. Simple type C reversible port. Um, on here there's another button that you can actually tap on and uh, check if there's any OTA software updates. So actually tapping on this will allow you to update the firmware if any are available and that may also slightly change things like sound if they release any kind of software tweaks. Uh, there's the Ear Studio logo on the back hi-fi USB DAC, um, very small. Here it is next to a standard US quarter, so you get the idea of how tiny it is. And then on the very top here, are the two standard 3.5 mil headphone jacks, one for regular headphones, one for high impedance, high power headphones. And then the middle here is kind of the EQ switch 
and really can improve the sound because most laptops don't have great sound cards. They don't have very impressive DACs built on in. So if you want to a lot of time listen to music from your computer or stream from sources like YouTube, this will really improve that quality. Still, things to keep in mind is that this is not a wireless DAC. It doesn't have built-in Bluetooth, which is uh, something to keep in mind. Um, and for phones, of course, it's also going to improve the quality with the exception perhaps of uh, certain flagships from LG, which already have a very impressive built-in DAC, then you may want to kind of consider if this is super necessary. Here's a quick peek at their website page, and you can see again the simple uh, specs they're advertising, like the ARM Cortex chipset built on in, and it's compatible with lots of different devices. But more importantly, this is where you download the driver uh, that you can install to provide up to 32-bit, um, again, high-res uh, audio. And once it is, it tells you your current sample rate, what it's at. Um, there's other more advanced settings, like a buffer settings, uh, which you can change the number of samples, the ISIO buffer size, but this gets very technical, uh, and the majority, I think, of users will not really get into that. Uh, this doesn't really change the sound quality, but the buffer size, all it does is changes the latency. So if for some reason you want to uh, tweak the input versus the output latency, make it a little faster versus a little slower, depending on the track. That's something that you can get into, but again, that's a very technical deep dive and not something I think most folks will need to look at. Uh, but you are able to do things like also adjust the volume. You can amplify it a little bit um, and change this, which is different from the system volume that the computer is at. Here's what it looks like once you pop it in. So still it's very small and just almost seems like a tiny little extension to the uh, headphones, which uh, doesn't really occupy too much space. You can still move it around um, and walk around with your computer. It doesn't really uh, provide too much weight or resistance. Uh, so moving into performance and the audio quality, I will just start with the default sound setting, which is number two for the EQ. Um, I would say that it definitely sounds very good. A pretty open sound stage, and YouTube is known for having lots of compression, right? Uh, all of a sudden does feel much more high quality, and you can definitely feel and hear the difference. It's a very obvious switch, especially compared to the regular headphone jack on the computer, uh, which, again, will definitely produce more noise, more dithering, more of a hiss, a hum in the background just through the wire, um, and the fact that the DAC built on in to most PCs just aren't that high end. But this completely reduces that background noise and aside from the beats of the music, everything else is completely silent. What I will say though is I personally didn't find the biggest difference, to be completely honest, between the, the second setting, which is the Radstone proprietary uh, EQ versus the dynamic Radstone proprietary EQ. I think that the middle setting is already pretty dynamic. Uh, when switching between the two, unless you are listening to a really uh, specific track, something that um, perhaps is a soundtrack from a movie, and uh, you have correct headphones and you're really closely listening. Uh, but aside from that, it's kind of hard to hear the difference between the two because they are already both really, really good. Uh, but compared to the pass-through, you definitely feel the difference. Um, that The pass-through mode is a lot more neutral, so the sound doesn't have quite much as much bass, but still sounds very clean and crisp. And then yes, indeed, if you want to drive really large headphones with a high impedance port, you can definitely do that. We have some uh, very large studio style headphones right here from Biodynamic that typically requires a much larger component um, or an amp, something to, to fully get the impact from. But uh, this actually does the trick. Um, it gets very rumbly in terms of bass. I can hear all the nuances within the sound and it gets plenty loud and packs a punch and uh, still consumes, I'd say, a small amount of power. I was tracking kind of my battery percentage uh, of the computer compared to having it unplugged. Maybe a 10 to 20 minute difference in terms of the duration of the battery life of the computer. So still is fairly energy efficient if you're driving even larger headphones and speakers. So that's more or less it for our hands-on review of the Your Studio HUD 100 Hi-Fi USB portable DAC. Again, one of the smallest DACs in the world because of um, how tiny it is, but surprisingly powerful in terms of what it can deliver. Sound quality is really refined. It can bring out the full potential of your um, Hi-Fi grade earbuds or headphones and uh, also improves the audio source as well um, in terms of what's coming out, the quality of uh, not having any dithering or noise, and also kind of upscaling uh, the quality from just just YouTube videos, and um, of course, if you have hi-fi tracks already, it will also pass through and sound great. You can check out more details if interested in the links down below, but for now, that's been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews. That's been the Your Studio HUD 100 Mini Hi-Fi USB DAC.